slope intercept form is the one that you all love because that's the one that we drill and drill and drill and drill. Okay, so slope intercept form is y equals, and I'm going to color code, m x plus b. Okay, so that's the one that I'm sure you all know because that's the one that we do with you over and over and over and over and over. That number right there is the slope. That number right there is the y-intercept. Okay, so we are good with that one, right? That's the one that, that everyone knows. All right, now the one that is my favorite is really, honestly, I like standard form. Again, I'm going to color code. All right, so A, X plus B, Y equals C. And what I'm putting in color, that's where the numbers go, right? So like 2X plus 5Y equals 10. All right, Y equals one third X plus 6. Okay, that's where our numbers go. All right, now there are formulas, but it doesn't do any good if you don't memorize formulas. You got to memorize them, okay? So your formulas for slope are negative A over B. And so I just take negative of whatever A is and put it over B, and that gives me the slope when it's in that equation right away. It takes about two seconds. Okay, if I want x-intercept, all right, remember I said we're it's going to, x and y-intercept always has a C, and it's whatever is in front of the appropriate variable. So x-intercept is C over A. And then y-intercept, again, whoops, I've been doing equal signs, is again C over something. Well, it's C over B because B is the coefficient in front of that y. So it's C over B. Standard form doesn't work for you if you don't memorize, don't memorize those, OK? And, and like I said, I don't want to write it. Where can I write it? Let's write it here. Okay, like so if I had 4x plus um, 8y equals 16. All right, real quickly. All right, what's the x-intercept? 4. That divided by that, 4. What's the y-intercept? 2. 16 divided by 8. See how quick you can find the x and y intercept? I mean, I, that's why I love this form. Now, can you do slope in your head really fast? Negative one half, someone said. Negative four over five reduces to negative one half. So slope, negative one half. And I all I got to do is just look at it. I didn't, I didn't have to do any math. I didn't have to do anything. I could do it all in my head. Are we good? OK. Some of you don't look like you're good. Okay. All right. Point slope form. All right. It involves a point and a slope. So y minus y sub 1 is equal to m x minus x sub 1. All right, and then we've already talked about what the negatives in the equations mean. This needs to be black. I don't know why I made that orange. All right, we've already talked about what the negatives in the formula means. It means you pull out the opposite number. Okay, so again, M is slope. At least they're consistent there. Your point that lies on the line would be the X coordinate. So X sub one, and then the Y coordinate, which would be Y sub one. So it has a slope and it has a point that you can identify really quickly. And then just in case your book or math Excel does general form, we'll write that one down again as well. Now on general form, again, I'll do, I'll color code because you would have a number here. So A X plus B Y plus C is equal to zero. Now, we don't, in this form, we don't memorize, we don't try to memorize x-intercepts, y-intercepts, slopes, or any of that kind of stuff. The slope formula for general form and standard form is going to work. I could look at these two numbers, and I could say negative a over b is going to be my slope, all right? But I would not want to take 
C over A and C over B as it sits here because that's on the wrong side of the equal sign. All right, I also don't want anybody to think, oh, well, here it's equal to a constant C and then over here the C's on the left hand side because I often have people go, well, why doesn't that say minus C? Because if I subtract C from both sides of the equation, can you see the argument why people want to put a minus C right here? But if I put a minus sign in a formula, what do I have to do when I pull the number out? I have to take the opposite of it, right? And all it is is a constant. I don't want to change that constant. So I don't, because it's just a plain number. It's not a coefficient or anything. I don't want to change the sign of it. All right. So that's, that's why I don't like general form in general. Okay. So like, because people look at this and go, oh, it ought to be minus C. No, it's not. Okay. Because you don't want to, if, it, if I put a minus C in that formula, then I would have to pull out the opposite number and it's a constant. I don't want to change that number. All right, but these four things are, is what you need memorized to be successful for this section. All right, so are we all good there? All right, let's do.